Think of it again. <laughs> she wanted passion and proof. She wanted physical affection instead of emoticon spoof. But I got lost in the aisle of that metaphor because I couldn't give any more. If you had a gun in my hair, I swear, this is all that's in there. So she goes, she simply ups and leaves our show and it's such a low blow that I'm breathing hurting. <laughs> the in and an out, I should scream about. Let it out. But she's not even listening. So quickly she's made dust like we never had no loves, just all this sarcasm spasming out of those lips, that mouth that I once called home. Because nowhere had ever been so soft like a croft on a misty highland morning where deer stalk the dawn, bellowing about love and territory, and now she's just a story. That I have to tell my friends and keep breathing when they tell me to try and save me, everything ends. Okay, so there's a lot of um, different lesbian families here. There's like, um, wit women. There's some spiral women from 1990. And um, there's uh, some women from Michigan who went to Michigan. The last Michigan. We went to the last Michigan. Anyway, a, w a wit woman who met someone at wit, um, met someone at Michigan, moved to Michigan, and um, her name's her name was Ruth Anna in England. Now she's called Ruby on Facebook. But uh, this is about her. And it's called, oh, and I'm going to film it because it's her birthday in three days' time. So we met at Wit, and I'm going to film it, if that's all right, and send it to her for her 50th birthday party. So say Woo! bye. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Ruth Anna. She was going to be the first lesbian judge. We're still holding out for her. It's called Ruby McCack. You came all the way from America to the wild west of Wales in winter. <laughs> Reckless you brave our worst snow line. Get lost in the dinosaur boned Cambrians to take an outdoor bath with me. Will we ever forget those implausibly large flakes melting in the post estrus heat of our flaming faces. Oh, getting a bit nervous, sorry. <laughs> As we boil ourselves into sister soup, laughing so loud. Other women bring us tea. We've been four hours in minus seven degrees. Snow covering the grate in our hair with something debonair. The furnace of this friendship roars up so many times. We have to undip, run naked across the white lawn to turn on a cold tap. Babbling like brooks about old lady camouflage and flying beneath the radar of despair. Curating recipes for world rescue of hopes and kids and dreams of every happy end that started with having a bath with your friend. Something. 
So this is about that. Um, and it's called All of Love is Opportunity. I got lost in a thickening fog of expectations for men to be on their prime on who said what to who again and why. As if we could just unpick the blame thread. We could each hold up our own heads and we could cry righteous tears about our undead love. But the only thing we both know is what we can't let go. Because once it was the only show we wanted to watch and now it's a stale rerun of knots that have been undone longer than either of us wanted to believe because all of love is opportunity even when the sheets are clean, never to get dirty again. And all of this linen we keep trying to wash is stained indelibly with us. Even so, I fear, after all this vinegar soaking, unless we stop provoking, all that we had could be tossed, like leaves plucked off in summer, never to let a tree recover. And if I don't want to be lovers, that doesn't mean that I don't still love us. <laughs>